Hi Year 10, it's Miss McKenzie here with a short video guide on how to get set up for completing your first history assessment task for this year. Your task will be a virtual museum tour. You're going to choose which primary sources are part of your exhibit and then you're going to be able to take us through your virtual museum, stopping along the way to explain each of the historical objects that you've collected. Your assessment notification will have all of the instructions you need on what you should discuss in your museum tour, so please make sure you read it very carefully. Your task will be submitted online via Google Classroom, and your teacher will show you how to do this as well as letting you know when it will be due. The way that we suggest presenting your work is by narrating a set of slides on Microsoft PowerPoint. It's the most simplified way of getting what you need for this assessment task. By following the steps in this video, you're going to be able to learn how to narrate your PowerPoint presentation step by step, as well as how to export your work for submission. If you're already familiar with this technology, feel free to explore one of the other presentation types listed in your notification. This video is designed to assist you with the very basics. You'll also find that most laptops and tablets, uh, your phones and even some headphones will have built-in microphones, but if you have difficulty finding this kind of equipment, please let your teacher know ahead of time. The first thing that you need to do is to collect your primary sources and create your PowerPoint slides according to the task instructions. Remember, primary sources are sources that are made at the time of the historical event that you're studying. There's going to be a list of examples of primary sources on your assessment notification. Each PowerPoint slide should include your source as well as some brief information about it. You'll then need to narrate over the top of your presentation, much like I'm doing now, in order to get your information across. Feel free to be as creative or dramatic as you like. You can use the school library to complete this task at Homework Club, which is available from 3 to 4 p.m. on Wednesdays and Thursdays. And that's if you need to use the school computers to get your work done. Also, make sure you ask your teacher for help if you need it. Do not leave this task too late or you may have difficulty getting it finished in time. Here's an example that I've made with one primary source relating to World War II propaganda. As you can see, I have my title slide here as well as my first source of my virtual museum tour. In order to start recording my narration over these slides, I need to firstly make sure my microphone's working and then I go to the slideshow tab, which is at the top of the page. Now, you'll need to click record slideshow, which is here, and it'll give you the option of checking or unchecking these two boxes. Leave both of them checked and then press start recording. Now, your slideshow is going to play automatically and you'll be able to see a small box up the top left, um, which you can pause and unpause your recording if you need to. You can click to move through your slides and you will narrate over them as you go. I'm going to narrate the next slide for you as an example. This primary source is a poster, which was created by artist Bernard Perlin in 1942. It was distributed in the United States of America during the Second World War by the Office of War Information and was designed to promote a sense of anger and patriotic spirit amongst young men at the time. The poster says, Avenge December 7th, which is a reference to the day that the Japanese attacked the American naval base at Pearl Harbor in Hawaii. Its aim is to convince young men to join the war and to fight for their country. It uses dark colors, images of burning ships in the background, large bold text and the image of a man making a fist in order to help set the vengeful tone and to spark emotions in the people who saw the poster at the time. Once you've finished your presentation and clicked through all of the slides, it will automatically stop recording and take you back to the editing screen. If you've made a mistake or if you want to re-record your narration, you can click the arrow at the bottom of Record Slideshow and it'll give you an option to clear your audio from that particular slide or on all of the slides and start again. 
Once you've completed everything, you're going to need to export your work as a video so you can send it to your teacher. You can do this by, once again, up the top, going to the Mix tab, and then you'll be able to select Export to Video. You'll get the opportunity to choose where to save this, and then you can select Export. Eventually, it's going to start exporting your video, and this will take a little while. Once it's complete, you can then upload it to Google Classroom, or you can upload it to your own Google Drive and just send the link to your teacher. I really hope this has been useful in helping you to prepare for your first assessment task. Remember, if you need help, please let your history teacher know as soon as possible. Good luck.